Hey guys, I'm Jose R2, and today I read the Shenya Lego Blake Star Wars V Wing Starfighter. So, this is the box here. So, you can see, uh, it's recommended for just Firecraft, and this set SY312 comes with 211 pieces. And it does say Tie Interceptor here, but it's actually a V Wing Starfighter, of course. I don't know why they wrote that, but yeah, it's uh, wrong. So, it comes with two minifigures, which is the uh, uh, pilot and also the astromech droid and you can see you got a really cool like Darth Vader there so yeah that's cool and you also got the Springler shirt thing and yeah so this is the top bottom the side the other side and finally the back shows you all the features and everything so yeah, uh, that's it for the box. So inside does come with uh, this cray things, uh, which is the smaller ones. So yeah, but um, yeah, that's it. So this is the instruction manual here. So you can see uh, this is the first page. And yeah, the final page. And also the back you got the uh, like the advertisements for the other like uh, Shenyang Star Wars sets and yeah you got the rest of these and I did review this before uh, quite some time ago but yeah you also got the general grievous um, uh, bike or I forgot the name you also got this right whatever thing uh, great starfighter or something but yeah um, you know so this is the back and yeah, so that's it. So the first main figure here is the V-Wing Starfighter Pilot. So you can see he's armed with this blaster, uh, blaster pistol. And you can see he has this really nice uh, helmet mode here. You know, you got like all the, uh, I don't know, like this is the, like the Republic Fleet logo or something. And you know, you got some breathing, breathing stuff. And if you remove it, you can see you got uh, his face print thing, which does kind of look like a uh, snow trooper and yeah looks weird though but you can see the torso printing you got the life support system and you got this belt there and yeah so this is the back you got the strap there and got this part here kind of looks like a stormtrooper uh, back so yeah but um yeah so that's it for the pilot Next figure here is this astromech droid, uh, which I assume it's a R2 unit, and yeah, I'm not sure what uh, the full name of this astromech is called, but you can see uh, the the printing on this dome piece is really good. You know, you got the eyes there, and you know, you got the camera and everything. Kind of looks like R2D2, of course, but you got the back the top. You can see, and yeah, so the the bottom here got all these like mechanical stuff and yeah no back printing for this though but yeah so like that's it for the astromech Roy. so this is the v-wing build itself here uh so you can see uh the bottom here you can see you got a uh, landing thing which is on this ratcheted piece and you can move it up uh, to make it kind of flying mode uh, when you when you're in flying mode and yeah so the front here you can see got a lot of stickers actually and yeah but they are pretty easy to put on uh, it's not a big deal but yeah so the side here you can see you got this uh, Republic logo and yeah uh, so the cockpit piece is the this piece from the the Batman submarine from the Mr. Freeze set, but yeah, so you can see you got a uh, very large uh, control, so you know that's cool, I guess. But yeah, you got a little spot there for the the pilot to sit on there, and yeah, so let's just uh, put him in, just like so, and lean him back and yep so he's just in there so you can see the ba back here you can see you got this flap on the on the clip piece and you know you got this turntable which uh you can put a uh, groit hit which uh you know it's kind of sad uh that you cannot uh, fit a full groit in there because you know it, it would have been uh, very nice but yeah you got also another this uh republic logo sticker 
and yeah, so you just close this flap up. And yeah, so the back here you can see you got the crustus, uh, they are in green, but I believe in offshore Lego they are supposed to be uh, yellow, but yeah, I'm not quite sure. So you got these uh, springlet shirts, uh, tails right there, and you can fire it off very easily. So you can see, uh, you can see the tips of the the spring load sure and yeah so the bottom here you can see you got this uh, clear piece which uh, acts as a kind of a um, like a secondary uh, landing skid and yeah so you can just fur the uh, spring load sure off and yeah it works uh, it works uh, like really well so that's great and yeah this one doesn't quite fire yeah. So the wings here you can see you got these uh, blaster cannons, but yeah the problem with these is that uh, like yeah they are on they are on this um, uh, like uh, flick for missile pieces and yeah like they are very tight if you put it inside there and yeah this piece is uh, kind of a bit of a bit broken you can see the the white there yeah the camera doesn't quite focus but yeah uh, so. Uh, on each side, you got this uh, this red piece, which is a, a sticker uh, on a gray piece. But yeah, so you got the this uh, flat part here to make it easier to land. And yeah, this is now on uh, landing mode. Uh, you can you can turn it into a uh, flight mode uh, by just turning this knob right here. But yeah, that doesn't work out so well because um yeah, everything here is really tight. So yeah, um, my way here is just to um, you know just push this piece up, and yeah, you can see uh, these they aren't even aligned at all, which is a kind of problem. But yeah, yeah, you can just push this up, and yeah, it's actually pretty hard, not so easy to do, not something very easy to do. So yeah, just turn the wings, and yeah, and you can uh, and you have to push this in push the wings side wings in and yeah they have uh, these um, like ball joint piece uh, which you know blocks them from uh, laying them going too far and you know you can just fly around I guess like just like that but it's just annoying that they they aren't aligned like that's a problem you can see right there and yeah it's really hard to like make it um you know, make it uh, accurate. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna try it, make it uh, accurate. But you know, so like yeah, that's uh, really it for the V wings. So overall conclusion of this set. So how do I think of it? Uh, well, the set here is great. It's nice that they uh, made it. Like um, you know, it's uh, pretty accurate, and you know the springless shirts work. That's nice, and the figures uh, they are all pretty good. But the problem is that uh, the quality control of the set just kind of sucks. Everything like everything on this ship is just really tight, and the and the bricks and everything uh, is just really hard to put on. So yeah, that's a problem. Like the quality is a problem. But yeah, if the quality is great, uh, then yeah, the set would would have been really nice. But um, you know, like the like the wings doesn't quite work work out so well. Like like you know, this thing doesn't align so well. So that's a problem there, and you know, like this knob, uh, if you turn it, it's really hard. Uh, yes, uh, it's really tight in there. So, yeah, that's the problem. But yeah, aside from that, like if you, uh, if you're okay with the quality, the problems, uh, then yeah, I do recommend you getting this set. But yeah. So, uh, buying sort of the set down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you want to drop physical alternative bricks, I'll put a link down in the description box below as well. But thanks for watching.